good afternoon, friends. Now we are discussing the solar cell or photovoltaic cell, so that is PV cell. So it is a device uh, made up of uh, semiconductor materials such as uh, silicon, uh, gallium, arsenide, uh, and uh, cadmium telluride, etc. So it is converting the sunlight directly into electricity. So photovoltaic cell is uh, made of semiconductor materials such as silicon. Uh, which is converting the sunlight uh, in directly into electricity. So the solar cell is absorbing the sunlight. Uh, uh, so then free electrons and holes are created at a positive or uh, negative uh, junctions. So if these positive and negative junctions uh, are connected to DC electrical uh, equipment, so current is uh, delivered to operate that uh, particular uh, electrical equipment. So we have three uh, major uh, solar cell types uh, classified by its manufacturing technology in the semiconductor. So we have <coughs> single crystalline uh, silicon PV module, then polycrystalline silicon PV module and amorphous silicon uh, PV module. So crystalline silicon PV module. So two types of uh, crystalline uh, uh, silicon are used to produce uh, the PV module. So that is uh, monocrystalline silicon and uh, multicrystalline uh, silicon or we call it as a polycrystalline uh, silicon. So then we have amorphous uh, silicon PV module. So <coughs> it is absorbing the light uh, more effectively than the crystalline uh, silicon uh, PV module what we see earlier. So it can be made uh, thinner. So it suits uh, any applications uh, that high efficiency is uh, not required and uh, the cost is uh, very low. So then hybrid silicon PV module. So that is uh, the combination of uh, single uh, crystalline uh, silicon that is surrounded by thin layers of uh, amorphous silicon. So that is providing uh, excellent uh, sensitivity to uh, lower light levels. So these solar cells, uh, what we have seen here, so they are uh, producing direct current, so DC, therefore they are only used for DC equipment. If AC is needed for, AC equipments or backup energy is needed, uh, then the solar photovoltaic systems will require other components in addition to the solar modules. So these components, additional components required for uh, uh, AC equipments are specially designed to integrate uh, into the solar uh, photovoltaic system. That is to say they are renewable uh, energy products or energy conversion products. <coughs> the components of the solar photovoltaic system are solar module, solar charge controller and the battery. So solar module is the essential component of uh, any solar uh, photovoltaic system uh, that is converting sunlight directly into DC electricity. So what uh, you are seeing in this uh, figure, so that is the uh, solar uh, module you can see here. So that is, uh, you have here solar array, so then we have charge collector, so here uh, the DC load, so that this controller is uh, connected to the equipment to which the electricity is to be supplied. So we have the battery here. So we have inverter. So a solar charge controller. So this charge controller is uh, uh, regulating the voltage and the current from the solar arrays. So here we have the solar module. So uh, that is the solar panel. So it is charging the battery, prevents the battery from uh, overcharging. So this uh, charge controller is charging the battery and uh, preventing the uh, overcharging of the battery. So then battery will store this uh, uh, current electricity that produces from the solar arrays. So that is the solar energy which is received from the sun by these solar panels will be converted to electrical energy. Then inverter, so this is the critical component of any solar PV system that is converting the DC power input uh, into appliances. So AC load, 
So then lightning protection, it prevents the electrical uh, equipments uh, from damages caused by the lightning or uh, induction of a uh, high voltage surge. So it is required for the large size and uh, critical solar PV systems, which also include the uh, efficient grounding facility. Solar cell advantages. Solar cell or the PV cell uh, produces uh, clean with non-polluting uh, energy source of electricity which is also environmental friendly. Since it uses uh, no fuel other than the sunlight, so it is not producing any waste, no burning taking place, no moving parts. So it reduces collection of gases such as uh, carbon monoxide, sulfur dioxide, hydrocarbon, nitrogen etc. which are uh, generated uh, from uh, burning uh, fuel, coal and other fossil fuels in the power plants. So a PV cell will not uh, produce uh, no pollution because no burning of uh, any fuel, coal or uh, uh, fossil fuel as it is taking place in uh, other power plants. So there will be no greenhouse uh, uh, effect, global warming, acid rain, air pollution, etc. So uh, it is easy to install and uh, transport this solar cell. With a modular characteristic, uh, it can be constructed to any sizes as required. So it requires minimal maintenance and has a very long lifespan, more than 30 years. So, to have the recap, we have uh, the components of the solar voltaic system as solar module consisting of uh, the solar panel. We have the charge controller, then we have inverter to convert uh, DC into AC. So that DC power output will be converted to AC, uh, so that uh, that will be connected to AC appliances.